So today I'm taking a quick look at the RD Link 200 Diagnostic Scan Tool by Topdom. This was actually sent to me by the company, but you can pick one up for around $25. Just check out the product link in the description below. This is a cheap scan tool, so don't expect it to help you out with ABS or brake bleeding. But if you don't have a scanner and just want to know why your check engine light is on, then this can help you out. So I'm inside a 97 Jeep Grand Cherokee with an aggressive check engine light and I want to know what the issue is. You just take the scan tool and plug it into the data link connector usually located under the steering wheel and the scanner will automatically power on. Make sure the engine is off with the key turned to the accessory position, press enter and the scanner will automatically link to your vehicle. If your check engine light is on, at the top where it says codes found, you will find a number that indicates how many problems found in the system causing your check engine light. In this case, you can see there's only one issue. To read the code, you press the enter button. And the check engine light is on because we have an EVAP emission system incorrect purge flow that's indicated by the code the computer used to communicate P0441. If you want to clear the check engine light, press exit and go down to erase code. Press enter two times and the scanner will clear the check engine light. This doesn't actually fix the problem, it just resets the monitor. After driving a certain amount of miles, the code will be tripped and the check engine light will come back on until you fix the issue. So here I am in a 2013 Nissan Maxima with the failing CVT and the check engine light is on. I have the scanner hooked up and you want to hit the push start button twice. Let the scanner connect to the vehicle and you can see there's one code store, P2097, Post Catalyst Fuel Trim System 2 Rich Bank 1. To erase the code, you just exit out and go to Erase Code and press Enter twice. It may say Erase Failure, but when you start the car, you'll notice the check engine light has been cleared. And when you check for trouble codes, it will tell you that none are stored in the module. So I've showed you how to use this tool on two different style vehicles. So for the average person that doesn't have a scanner, but is looking to get one minus the bells and whistles, this would be handy to have around. Don't forget to check out the product link in the description below. And until next time, y'all stay tuned.